Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Ant, answering another question submitted by a student. This looks like something from uh, Algebra 2, having to do with logarithms. And so what I'm going to do is uh, here is just copy out the left-hand side and put it in a friendlier format. So we're going to have the natural log of x to the 15th power times the square root of x minus 1 all over 3x minus 6. And now we're just going to expand it. And um, mostly we're just going to use <coughs> the, the various laws of logarithms. Um, the first, let's just break it up first of all. So we're going to have the natural log of 15, x to the 15th rather, plus the natural log square root of x minus 1 minus the natural log 3x minus 6. Okay, so here I'm just using multiplication and division rules. Uh, when <coughs> the log of a times b is just the log of a plus the log of b, I'm using natural logs here because that's what was given to us in the problem. But you see, we're just using this very, very basic property of logarithms. So that allows me to break this up into a sum for the numerator and then subtract the denominator. And now in this next line, I'm going to use the power rule. And so the power rule looks like this. It says the log of x raised to the a power is just a times the log of x. So the power just comes down in front. So now we have 15 log x plus, this is a one half power because it's a square root. So it's just one half log x minus one minus log 3x minus 6. Okay, so that's all pretty straightforward. And now we just need to match it up here with the uh, with these coefficients. And I think we'll do that using another color. So I want to think it's clear that a is 15. Likewise, I think it's clear that B is one half here. Okay, because that's my A here. That's my B here. And I think it's pretty clear that C is equal to negative one because we have a negative one in there. And that's it. Those are our, our three answers. So it's, uh, it's not a very hard problem. It's only using two properties, <clears throat> the ones that I have listed above. And um, it's just, this is called an expansion. And I think it's good to work on expansions when you're learning logs and do those first, because those are a little bit easier than contraction. A contraction would be if we started with the right-hand side and tried to, to combine these separate logarithms into a single logarithm that's called a contraction but here you see i chose to do an expansion and i think you can see why that's the best approach okay so that's it for today and i hope you enjoy the rest of your course on algebra 2 and i'll see you again next time bye bye